Well, we've had an interesting morning. I've already got lost. I've somehow got the old route. I redesigned the route last night from where we were. Pete's got it luckily. He went one way, I went the other. I've just found him and the boulangerie. So hopefully things are starting to look up. 120K on the menu. It's supposed to not rain and it's raining now. So viva la France. Enjoy your breakfast, Pete. Mm. Do you think the French, this is the, the greatest equivalent in France, do you reckon? Well, boulangerie, boulangerie Louise. Yeah, it's, well, it's, it's a few it's notches good. above Greg's, that's for certain. Right, should we try not to go wrong again? Well, <laughs> I, I didn't say, go wrong. I say we. Yeah, all right. I didn't go wrong, it's your fault. I'll try not to go wrong again, I'll follow you. managed to get back on the beautiful Eurovelo 4 which is full of beautiful scenery and bridges and fields. We somehow ended up riding in the field. <laughs> so be careful what you wish for. We've just come up what must have been the longest straightest road in Brittany all uphill and I'm just hoping for a change of scenery a different, a different road other than just the straight road. And we found a field. And Pete's just said, this can't be the right route, but look. Yep, this field is Eurovelo 4. <laughs> it's been mostly um, really decent with the road bike. Pete's absolutely 100% uh, certain he's bought the right bike with his gravel bike there. But yeah, I might, I've might got 30 tires on mine and it's doing fine but I would like some more flat, smooth tarmac. Some of the beautiful, pristine French tarmac again, please. Yeah, Les Pont Neuf. It's funny how it all played out. Broken dreams seldom get realized. For me you were a part of life That escaped and left me outside
You've got to hand it to the French. This uh, infrastructure on this River 04 is something else, isn't it? The bridges and the viaducts we've oh. been over. You get nothing like this in the UK. Well, not in the south anyway. Beautiful. And the views of the beach. Yeah, I think we're something like 40, 45k in. We've got several more kilometres to go. We've got the ferry to catch from Dinard to San Marlo, hopefully. Otherwise, we're going to have to go across the, um, the big pont barrier there. But yeah, feeling a bit tired at the minute. Not enough to drink. So um, we're going to crack on, see if we can get a supermarket dash somewhere and then head on for Dinard for lunch whilst we wait, sort out what times the ferries are and then onto the Airbnb, but this French countryside, man, is something else. We've been on and off again and again. I don't know which way we're going, no control. You push me, then you pull me back in. Don't know if I can decipher how your mind works. Yeah, you leave me wondering what it's like to feel your skin. I will keep on trying till you give me a sign. Give me a sign, oh, give me a sign, baby, give me a sign, just give me one more. You leave me hanging, begging for more, think that I'm addicted to this, can't resist to be a little risky and go for it, cause I want you close, I'm so exposed when you're keeping me wondering, you know I'd do anything to be in your arms again so give me a sign give me a sign oh give me a sign baby give me a sign just give me one more talking to you talking to here we go again staying up all night to see if you've been texting me where do we go from here i want to go all in so give me a sign We've made our way to Dinard finally. We're on 95k, I think it is. It's supposed to be 89k, so we've been getting uh, hangry anyway because we thought we'd get to Dinard before we have something to eat. So we've been putting it into a massive headwind all day. And uh, the French roadworks are doing their best to try and stop us from getting here. Three diversions, I think we've had. And we've had to go around each one. So we've done way more distance than we wanted to. We've got a 20 minute wait now to the ferry. So not enough time to get some food. So we're going to head over to St. Marlow. And uh, we'll get something to eat there. Uh, and Pete's had a bit of a war wound. Do you want to talk us through your war wound, Pete? Uh, stupidity. Start with that. Sure. <laughs> um, we've been on the bike lanes all day, haven't we? we we've been off road. We've been yeah. in fields. And you fell off in a bike lane. <laughs> Uh, we went over a roundabout, joined in a little lane, there's a bike path, but didn't do it, didn't do it, and it hurt. It was a kerb, let's, yeah. let's put it that way, you didn't get over the kerb, yeah. in the wet, England, I'd sue someone. in the wet, yeah. but yeah. it's worth it now, look. I haven't had my crep yet. Oh, we'll find you one. He's off. We're off. Have you got your passport, by the way? Yeah. This is yeah. the fastest we moved into a headwind all day. <laughs> Border control must be on that side. Oh, we're turning around. Yeah, the front of the boat's behind you. I assume we're going over there. I might have to sit downstairs until we. Are oh, you cold? Yeah, I get cold like that. If I had a boat, I would sail out. Take every brother and sister. 
master of mine. We grow in the sunshine and sleep when it's dark, hoping to find somewhere we can call home. But it's black, yeah, it's black. Oh, the water's black, 'cause it's black. It's all. So that was an eventful end for the day. We locked ourselves out of our Airbnb within five minutes of getting here. But we're in. Uh, we're just going to get showered, walk into town, get something to eat, find, uh, find some treats, get refreshed. And we've got Mont Saint Michel tomorrow. So Pete's going to lick his wounds. I'm going to get myself all showered and clean. And we'll see you again tomorrow. That was somewhat an odd end to the day since St Marla, wasn't it? We've just raced in the rain. Locked our bikes safely downstairs. <laughs> we forgot the code. <laughs> well, no, we didn't quite get the translation. We both. Oh. It was close. That's all we can say. Yeah, it was close. I nearly thought about scaling the uh, the balcony to climb up, but thought better of it. But, but we were craving pizza in San Marlo. Is that what we're going to do? Hopefully, although the pizza place. <laughs> There's six pizza places in Somalia, they're all closed. <laughs> the one place we went to weren't serving food. So, hopefully that or a crepe. Or that and a crepe. Yes. We've got a church right opposite us, having the tower done. So till tomorrow. Enchanté.